Yeah, it's very important to understand why organs such as the kidney, the brain and the heart fail. And one of the main reasons is, let's say, the damage of the micro blood vessels, which you can see here. There, the interaction between endothelial cells and parasites get damaged. And I want to understand what the factors are which are important in this. And they are actually an interplay of systemic factors and of local factors. But I have to study that at the local level, which I can't do in patients, because these are the samples from cells and the microenvironment I can't sample from patients. Therefore, I developed a system which mimics this organ on a chip. You see the chip, or actually this is the chip. And on this organ on a chip, I can mimic the process which happens in the local, let's say, level in the patients. Well, I know Thomas now a little bit more than 10 years. And what I like most is really his innovative ideas that, that really go beyond frontiers to places where others think, is this possible at this point in time? But perhaps most of all, what I like is he really makes it happen. And that is, to us, in a field in population health, very important. Yeah, it's very important to take the differences between patients very good into account as there are diabetic patients who develop organ failure and who don't and to understand the difference better. We will now integrate the different technologies which we developed within the Netherlands Metabolomics Center to allow the analysis of samples from the organ on a chip samples and from patients at the same time and by then combining it with genetics data from patients we can develop a disease model which then will allow to develop pharmacological interventions which take the differences between individual patients into account. Well, we have found now, for instance, for diseases, 160 genes. And we want to know in an organ how that leads to disease. And the work of uh, Thomas is crucial for us to learn that. I cannot use classical ge genetic animal models anymore. It would be financially impossible to bring 160 mutations into the animal, but also practically it will be more than a challenge. And what the work of Thomas Hankemeyer with the organs on a chip will enable us is not only to give me more cheap, not, a a not only to give me uh, more uh, time-efficient models, but it also gives me better models, namely models in a human situation that allows me to study how these different genes in concert yield the disease in the end of the day.